Good evening, everybody. Welcome. Um, I hope you've all had a nice weekend. It's been lovely and sunny here in London. Um, I've had a weekend of DIY at home. I've been painting some shelves, so I've got a slightly sore uh, shoulder, and it's the most pointless bit of DIY. I don't really know why we chose this weekend to do it, but there we go. Um, so I'm really ready for a Sunday evening sing, and thank you for being here. And um, yeah, I hope you're ready for a sing too. It was a, uh, a good song tonight, which I'm sure I've sung with lots of you already, but if you don't know it, you'll get the hang of it nice and swiftly, I'm sure. Um, as usual, I'm going to start with a quick warm up and then I'll introduce the song and start teaching. Um, if you are new here, you don't need to know anything in advance really, other than you can find the words underneath when we start singing the song a bit later. And you can kind of join in completely on your own terms. So um, yeah, there's no pressure to sing uh, any harmonies or anything. Join in however you, however you want to. Um, but yeah, thanks for being here. I hope you're keeping well. And let's get started. So. Um, since I've got a slightly sore shoulder from painting, I'm going to do some shoulder rolls to get going. And then slowly back the other way as well. Good, good. And heads around slowly. Great. And back the other way. And I hope your neck isn't making as many clicking noises as mine is. Um, and then just give your jaws a little bit of a rub and a stretch. And then take in a nice big breath through your nose and out nice and fast. And breathing in again through your nose and this time breathing out slowly. Great, and one more big breath in and this time out with a big sigh. Good. Um, let's think about how we're standing when we sing. So I always say it's good to have your feet about shoulder width apart and knees nice and loose so you can bounce around and kind of feel that support um, underneath your lungs for when we're singing a bit later on. Um, let's take in one more big, big, big breath through your nose and this time breathe it out really slowly and try and keep your breath really steady as you're breathing out. And I want you to keep breathing out until you've got no air left and you feel that you kind of absolutely have to breathe in again um, and then you should feel a nice satisfying filling up but also you should feel the um, muscles under your lungs kind of engage um, as you have that take that big breath in so keep going out until you've got nothing left and then we absolutely have to fill up again and just try and be mindful of the muscles that you're using while you do so um, I'm going to assume everybody's breathed out by now um, let's do a little bit of singing so um, just to a really gentle hum we're going to do a mm, Three, four. Mm -hmm. Ah, and ah, e, and e. I quite often do those little warm-ups because I think they're a good one for um, kind of thinking about how you're standing and singing and also concentrating on not moving your head around when you sing. Um, so I do them with a little slide in between, which you might find helpful as well. Um, okay, let's get stuck into today's song. So I'm going to teach a song called The Falcon, um, which goes out to Alison. This was requested by Alison many, many, many weeks ago. So I'm sorry it's taken me a while to get around to it. Um, but it's also one that I've done with lots of my groups. So I'm sure some of you will know it. Um, but if not, it's a nice one. It's um, The reason I like this song is because it seems on the surface like a really cheery, bouncy folk song about a falcon. But uh, dig a little deeper and uh, it's a bit darker. It's got kind of two, two, two tiers of intrigue. And um, it's a tune by Mimi and Richard Farina. Um, if you don't know them, they are... Well, Mimi Farina was the sister of Joan Baez and they were a kind of folk power couple who were taken far too soon. I think I, th I think they might have died in a motorbike accident or something like that. Um, but anyway, they, they were on the precipice of greatness. And, and oh, maybe that's unfair. They've got some amazing 
amazing um, songs and a really, really good album, which you can find on Spotify. And um, yeah, but sadly taken too soon. So could have gone on to write many, many more great songs, I'm sure. Um, but this song is um, a song called The Falcon. It's written in the 60s. So um, kind of, I guess the backdrop is Vietnam and the politics around that. Um, and it's a sort of protest song, really. It's a song about corruption at its heart, um, f told through the lens of this falcon. Um, yeah, I don't want to say too much about it because it kind of speaks for itself, really. But yeah, um, a really great folk song. And I, the, only, the only other thing I'll say about Mimi and Richard Farina is if you've seen my duet with Dom, Children of Darkness, it's the same um, couple who wrote that. And actually, that's a song I've done with some of my groups as well. So um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Um, okay, let's get stuck into it. So I'm going to teach this song in four parts. Um, but as I say every week, you're welcome to join in with whichever part feels right. Even if you sing with me regularly and you're usually a, I don't know, alto, tenor, bass, whatever, um, you know, at home, sing along with whatever you want to. And it might be that you want to jump around a few different parts. The actual notes are quite simple in this one. So if you want to learn more than one part, feel free and then kind of chop and change as you go through. Um, the words are underneath, so in the description box underneath you can find a link to the lyrics and there are lots of lyrics to this one so I would recommend digging them out. Um, uh, the only other thing you need to know is there's a chat window down the side so if you're logged into YouTube you can um, send messages to each other as we go and then I can read them all back at the end. So if you are logged in um, do say hello because it's always nice to know who's tuning in each week. Um, okay, that is enough of me talking. So I'm going to play a little bit of the Falcon just to give you a little teaser before I break down the harmonies. It goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Oh, hold on. What do I count in? Yeah, one, two, three, one, two. Old Falcon, old Falcon was a pretty bird. One bird as she flew, she danced around. So I won't give too much away, uh, that's the kind of shape of the whole thing. So it's got this kind of bouncy, folky, almost dance-like feel all the way through because it's in three. So if you're counting it, you're going to do it mm cha cha mm cha cha mm cha cha mm cha cha and you'll hear that the stresses always fall on the da 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 So once you've kind of got the feel of it, you can count it in the one two, three, four. But within that, to give it its kind of bounce, it's always got this mm cha cha mm cha cha mm cha cha mm cha cha. Um, okay, enough of that. Let's teach it part by part. So I'm going to start with the basses, and um, for the first verse, everybody has the words, and the tunes are all quite simple, si uh, similar is what I meant to say. The tunes are all quite similar, so tune in carefully. The basses have got one, two, three, one, Two. Oh, the falcon, oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. Wondered as she flew, she danced around and pranced around wherever the warm winds blew. So whichever part you're on, try and keep it really light and bouncy in your voice. Um, I'll teach that phrase by phrase. So the first line... Um, you're going to do, and actually basis, you do the first two words twice. You do, oh, the falcon, oh, the falcon. So you're going to do one, two, three, one, two. Oh, the falcon, oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. I'll do that one more time. One and two. Oh, the falcon, oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. Let's have a go. One and two. Oh, the falcon, oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. Then. Wondered as she flew. I'll do that one more time. Wondered as she flew. One, two, three. Wondered as she flew. And then she danced around and pranced around wherever the warm winds blew. I'll do that one more time because there's quite a lot in there. She danced around and pranced around wherever the warm winds blew. 
So the she dance pushes the beat. So it's one, two. She danced around. So the danced is ahead of the beat. After two, and one, two. She danced around and pranced around wherever the warm winds blew. Wherever the warm winds blew. One, two. Wherever the warm winds blew. So let's try basses, the whole of that first verse. Oh the falcon, oh the falcon, one and two. Oh, oh the falcon, oh the falcon was a pretty bird. Wandered as she flew. She danced around and pranced around wherever the warm winds blew. Should we do that one more time? One and two. Oh, the falcon, oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. Wondered as she flew. She danced around and pranced around wherever the warm winds blew. Great. Um, I'll refresh all of these parts later, so if it feels like I'm going a bit too fast, I will come back to it. Um, okay, tenors next. So tenors and altos, you have really similar parts in terms of how they piece together. So tenors, you're going to do um, uh, one and two. For oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. Let's just try that. So hold on to the N of falcon. For oh, the falcon, one and two. For oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. Wandered as she flew. So really bright at the end. Flew. Wandered. After three, one, two, three. Wandered as she flew. And then she danced around and pranced around. So really bouncy. She danced around and pranced around. One, two. She danced around and pranced around. Last phrase. Wherever the warm winds blew. One, two. Wherever the warm winds blew. So let's do she danced around up to there. One, two. She danced around and pranced around wherever the warm winds blew. So the whole thing goes one and two. Oh, the falcon was a pretty good. Wondered as she flew. She danced around and pranced around wherever the warm winds blew. Before I teach the alto part, let's try and do bass and tenor together. So basses, um, you have got your, let me remind you. Oh, the falcon, oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. So you're starting on, oh, the falcon and tenors. Oh, the falcon, one. And two. Oh, oh the falcon, oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. Wondered as she flew. She danced around and pranced around wherever the warm winds blew. Great. And on top of that, we're going to add the alto parts. So alto is exactly the same shape as the tenor parts, just a little bit higher. You're going to do one. And two. Oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. I'll do that one more time. One and two. Oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. One and two. Oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. Then wandered as she flew. One, two, three. Wondered as she flew. And then here's where it gets a bit more fun. She danced around and pranced around wherever the warm winds blew. So 
So I'll do that in two chunks. She danced around and pranced around. One, two. She danced around and pranced around. And then, really bright for the last bit, last bit. <clears throat> um, wherever the warm winds blew. One, two. Wherever the warm winds blew. So let's try the whole of that part, altos. Oh, the falcon. One and two. Oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. Wondered as she flew. She danced around and pranced around. Wherever the warm winds blew. One more time. One and two. Oh, the falcon was a pretty bird Wondered as she flew She danced around and pranced around Wherever the warm winds blew So, let's try those three parts up to there So we've got Oh, the falcon, oh, the falcon For the basses and for the tenors Oh, the falcon And for the altos Oh, the falcon. Here they come after two. One and two. Oh, the falcon, oh, the falcon, was a pretty bird. Wandered as she flew. She danced around and pranced around wherever the warm winds blew. And last but not least, we have our tune on top. But actually, before I put the tune on, let's just do those harmony parts one more time because I realise I'm teaching this quite quickly. Oh, the oh the falcon for the basses. Oh, the falcon for the tenors. Oh, the falcon. I'm going to sing the tenor part this time. So, altos, I'm going to leave you to sing that part on your own. Here it comes. One and two. Oh, oh the falcon, oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. Wondered as she flew. She danced around and pranced around wherever the warm winds blew. And that last note is always short. Wherever the warm winds blew. Cuts off there. So we feel that mm, ja, ja, mm, ja, ja, all the way through. Okay, last but not least, our tune on top, the soprano part. Um, so sopranos, the catch of your part is you follow the other part. So you will hear... Oh, the falcon, oh, the falcon, and you sing in the gap. So, in fact, I'll play it for you and sing along so you can hear how it pieces together in context. It goes like this. One and two. Oh, the falcon, oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. Wondered as she flew. She danced around and pranced around wherever the wall so the hardest bit really is that first bit. You steal the basses. They do, oh, the falcon, and you steal their phrase. So you do, oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. Let's try that one. And two. Oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. And then you're straight into, wondered as she flew. One, two, three. And then, she danced around and pranced around. So that's pretty bouncy. She danced around and pranced around. After two, one, two. She danced around and pranced around. And then your last phrase. Wherever the warm winds blew. One, two. Wherever the warm winds blow. And again, quite bouncy. Um, let's try the whole thing. So after two, one and two. Oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. Wondered as she flew. She danced around and pranced around. Wherever the warm winds blew. 
let's try it with the harmony parts. So remember, the soprano part joins a phrase later. So we've got one and two. Oh, the falcon, oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. One girl as she flew, she danced around and pranced around wherever the warm winds blew. Great. And that's all the notes there are to it. The rest of the um, verses have exactly the same notes. Sometimes the words fit slightly differently and uh, I'll talk through some of those in a minute. But notes wise, there's nothing more. Um, so just to be really fair, I'm going to go through those harmonies one more time because they're pretty bouncy. Um, so we'll build it up all four parts on top of each other. But first of all, I'm going to go back to the basses. So basses, here is your refresher. Oh, the falcon, one and two. Oh, the falcon, oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. One bird as she flew, she danced around and pranced around wherever the warm winds blew. Let's do the second verse. And the falcon, and the falcon was a pretty bird. Her voice was always still, but men with drums and men with guns, they taught her how to kill. So you can hear um, the second verse is where things start to take a slightly more sinister turn. Um, let's do the same thing, verse one and two, with our tenors on top. So, oh, the falcon for the basses, oh, the falcon for the tenors, one and two. Oh, oh the, the falcon, falcon, oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. One bird as she flew, she danced around and pranced around wherever the warm winds blew. And the falcon was a pretty bird, her voice was always still, but men with drums and men with guns, they taught her how to kill. And then, let's put our altos on top, so first and second verse again. Oh, the fountain! Here we go, one, and two. Oh, the falcon, oh, the falcon, was a pretty bird. One bird as she flew, she danced around. Wherever the warm winds blew. Second verse. And the falcon, and the falcon was a pretty bird. Her voice was always still. But men with drums and men with guns, they taught her how to kill. And last but not least, same thing with our tune on top. So remember tune, you wait for the first phrase. One and two. Oh, the falcon, oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. One bird as she flew. She danced around and pranced around wherever the warm winds blew. One, two. And the falcon, and the falcon was a pretty her voice was always still, but men with drums and men with guns, they taught her how to kill. Um, so, you can see the second verse is pretty much the same as the first verse. Um, from then on, things mix up a little bit. So, I'll talk through the third verse now. Um, in verse three, um, well, as I said earlier, you can kind of navigate your own way through this. But what I'm going to suggest is in the third verse, her eye on the sparrow, um, tenors and sopranos sing it to an oo, and the altos and basses sing the words. Um, and the words fit as follows. Her eye was her eye on the sparrow. Her mind was on the dove. Uh, 
But no one cared and no one dared to speak to her of love. So it starts quite bouncy and then smooths out towards the end. Um, but with tenors and sopranos on an ooh all the way through. So it feels a bit more open, that verse. Um, let's go once from the beginning up to the end of verse 3. And then I'm going to play on to verse 4 and just ask you to listen um, so you can hear how it fits. Um, so first four verses, singing the first three and listening to the fourth one. Here we go. One and two. Old Falcon, Old Falcon was a pretty bird. Wondered as she flew, she danced around and passed around wherever the warm winds blew. One, two. And the Falcon, and the Falcon was a pretty bird. Her voice was always still. same notes but the feel is really strong for those first two lines her eyes are her eyes always hooded and then her claws are sharp as steel so really strong cons consonants on those her claws are sharp as steel and then we smooth out for we teach her not to see too much we teach her not to feel. So the second two lines are, in contrast, much, much, much smoother. Um, I'm going to push on to the fifth verse. Um, so we're zooming through this. Um, verse five is the strongest verse in the whole thing. So it starts really, really strong. Go build you, go build you a log cabin on a mountain so high. And hear the feathered warbirds yell as she goes screaming by. So the whole thing really weighty. Um, always feeling that jun, 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 and leaning into all of those um, hard, hard sounds in that verse. Um, so uh, the verse after that changes dramatically. So let's go from the beginning up to there. Um, and join in with as much as you can. So it's only the third verse where the tenors and sopranos go to an oo. Um, everybody, all the other verses are words all the way through. Um, here we go from the top. One and two. Old Falcon, Old Falcon was a pretty bird. One bird as she flew, she danced around and pranced around. Wherever the warm winds blew And the falcon, and the falcon Was a pretty bird Her voice was always still But men with drums And men with guns They taught her how to kill Teach her not to see too much. 
We teach her not to fear. And really strong. Go build you, go build you a log cabin on a mountain so high. And hear the feathered warbirds yell as she goes screaming by. The next verse, in stark contrast, goes really, really soft. And basses, you're going to drop out for the first two lines. So you're going to join in at, but someday she might turn around and maul the hand that feeds. But the first two lines are just going to be the top three parts and really soft. So we go down to a really breathy kind of like, she'll tease you, she'll please you, she'll satisfy your needs. And then basses join in and the whole thing picks up for the next two lines. But someday she might turn around and maul the hand that feeds. So uh, lots of drama in whatever verse we're on. Verse six is it. But the she'll tease you starts really, really soft. And then the second half. But someday she might turn around and maul the hand that feeds. Really, really strong to finish. Then, in the verse after that, we're going to flip it round. So this time, basses and altos go to an oo, and the, ta uh, the tenors and sopranos have the words. But, for the last two lines, go break her chain and free her brain, everybody goes back to the words. So there's a lot of detail in this one. Um, I'll just say that one more time. So that the next verse, your hours might be numbered, are sopranos and tenors on the words, and altos and basses are going to sing oo for the first two lines, and then go on to the words for... Go break her chain and free her brain and send her on her way. So the last two lines are everybody. And then we're on to our very last verse. And in the last verse, it's pretty much a return to the first verse. So it's all four parts on the words, quite bouncy and light. But when we get to the very last line, we go really soft and really breathy. So the last verse... Um, feels kind of the same as we opened with. And the falcon, and the falcon is a pretty bird. This verse goes present tense. And the falcon, and the falcon is a pretty bird. Wonders as she flies. She asks us easy questions. And then really soft and hushed for we tell her easy lies. Um, so we're complicit in the um, corruption of the falcon. Um, shall we try and do the whole thing through? I'll shout things out as we go, because I know there's a lot of detail in there. Um, but kind of the fun with this one is that the whole thing is quite simple, and it's really in those kind of stark and quite dramatic contrasts that the whole thing springs to life. So back to the top all the way through, and I'll shout things out as we go so we know what's coming. Um, here we go, one, and two. Oh, the falcon, oh, the falcon was a pretty bird. Wondered as she flew, she danced around and pranced around wherever the warm winds blew. And the falcon, and the falcon, was a pretty bird. Her voice was always still. But men with drums, and men with guns, they taught her how to kill. So, ooh, tenors and on the sparrow, her mind was on. Yell as 
as she goes screaming by. They're really soft. She'll tease no basses. She'll please you. She'll satisfy your needs. Strong. But someday she might turn around and maul the hand that feeds. Bases and altos on a goo. So really, adding in all of that detail brings it to life. Um, shall we do it one more time straight away? And this time I won't shout things out as we go through. Um, just tune in carefully because the recording that I've done is um, as it should be, as I've been shouting out, but uh, it isn't always totally obvious until the verse has started. Um, so I won't shout things out as we go this time, but let's see how we go. Back to the top. One and two. Old Falcon, Old Falcon was a pretty bird. Wondered as she flew, she danced around and pranced around wherever the warm winds blew. And the falcon, and the falcon was a pretty bird. Her voice was always still, but men with drums and men. They taught her how to kill Her I was hers on the sparrow Her mind was on the dial But no one cared and no one dared To speak to her of love Her eyes are always hers Sharp as steel, we teach her not to see too much, we teach her not to feel. Go build you, go build you a log cabin on a mountain so high, and hear the feathered warbirds yell. As she goes screaming by She'll tease you, she'll tease you, she'll please you She'll satisfy your needs But someday she might turn around And maul the hand that feeds Your hours might be now Send her on her way. And the falcon, and the falcon is a pretty bird. Wonders as she flies. She asks us easy questions. We tell her easy lies. Great, there we have it. That is uh, The Falcon, and I hope you've enjoyed uh, returning to that one if you sang it with me before, or um, learning afresh if it's your first time singing it. It's a great song, and I really recommend digging out the original, um, which is uh, kind of very different in some ways, but has that same sort of light, bouncy feel to it. Um, I'd like to sing it again, but a couple of things to say. First of all, um, where's my list of things? There's a lot to say this week. Um, so, 
Yes, quite a few people have emailed me in the last couple of weeks about um, arrangements. And it was my intention when I started doing Catch Chorus that I would always put um, the arrangements online so that people could listen to them. However, uh, it's been quite a lot of work, so I haven't quite, I'm a bit behind basically. But I do have a back catalogue of loads of arrangements which are online. So if you do want access, access to those, email me. And my plan over the summer is to try and get it up to date. So I will, um, all of the arrangements that we've done over the last 15, 16 weeks, I think this is, is this 16? Episode 16 over the last 16 weeks will at some stage make their way into, it's a Dropbox file, so I'll put them up there as well. Um, so if anybody does want to have a listen to those, um, just send me an email and I can send you a link to them. Um, and it's as simple as that. And yeah, I'm going to try and get it up to date um, over the summer. Um, what else is I going to say? Yes. So I am planning to take August off um, Couch Chorus. Not completely, um, I'm still going to put some videos out and I've got plans for August um, so there is singing things going on but I will pause Couch Chorus for those three weeks, four, uh, four weeks in August. Um, so I'll do up until the end of July as uh, so we've got a couple more weeks left yet um, and then start up again in September depending on the situation um, and you know kind of what's going on in the wider world. Um, but if we're not back together again um, in real life and singing as we should be by September, which is highly likely I'll relaunch Catch Chorus then. But yeah, I'm gonna take August off because um, I've got a few other things I want to do. And the first one is I'm gonna do um, another virtual choir, but this one for kids. So if you've got any young people who um, are stuck at home and uh, you need entertaining, I'm gonna do a virtual choir project over August specifically aimed at um, um, well, sort of aimed at parents with small children and um, to try and keep them busy. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do something like that and I'm going to announce it next week. I haven't quite worked out what it'll be, but um, yeah, I've got a couple of ideas which hopefully I'll announce next week. So if you do know young people, if you've got grandchildren, nieces, nephews um, or children, <laughs> um, then uh, yeah, bear that in mind. And that's going to be my August project. But I'm also planning to do another bigger virtual choir for everybody, which anybody can get involved with in the autumn. So a bit of all my August time will be spent kind of prepping that and working out what it's going to be. I want to try and write something for it so it'll be something, something totally new. Um, but yeah, I don't quite know what that'll be yet. And it's going to take quite a lot of thinking and preparation um, so I need a bit of time to put that together um, hence I'm taking a bit of time out in August um, but I will try and get some stuff out that you can sing along with I've got I've recorded a couple of videos um, just here in the flat of me singing um, some things with Loop Machine um, which I will um, upload during August which will be totally accessible to sing along with because I record each part separately as I go um, so although I won't kind of break it down in the way that I do in Couch Chorus with the teaching um, it'll be the kind of thing that you can easily sing along with if you are craving a bit of singing. Um, and what else is I going to say? Oh yeah, if you want to be kept up to date with all of those projects um, over August and beyond, then I do actually have a mailing list, which is probably the best way for me to contact you. So if you want to be on my mailing list, you can find it on my website and just put in your email address. And um, as and when those projects are announced, I will send you an email. Um, I suppose the other thing you can do is subscribe to this YouTube channel. So if any time I put up a new video, um, you'll get a notification. Um, yeah, I think that's it in terms of notices. There's quite a lot in there. But yeah, I'm sure I'll mention more about those um, next week and beyond as and when that information becomes a bit more available. But it should be fun. I'm looking forward to, um, you know, a couple of slightly bigger projects and some slightly different things as well. Um, and I hope you'll get involved with them in some capacity. Um, yeah, the last virtual choir was a steep learning curve, but really good fun. And I'm really, really proud of uh, the video. And if you haven't seen it, do check it out because it's um, it's great. And lots of you took part, so thank you for that. Um, this one, I'm hoping, will be a similar idea. But um, yeah, I don't know. I want to do something a little bit different with it. So I don't quite know what, what that is yet, but I will keep you posted. Um, OK, enough waffling. Let's sing The Falcon one more time to finish. Um, I suppose the only thing I should say with this one is... Um, this is the last time I sing it, so give it lots and lots of bounce in all of those sections. And if you want to, you know, like with lots of folk songs, you can kind of find your own way through some of those melodies. If you want to put in any extra little twiddles or any, if you hear a bounce in a different place, stick it in. Find your own way through. You don't have to sing exactly as I've done. Um, that's kind of just how I hear it. Um, but you might hear it differently. So feel free to add any of your own embellishments. Um, here we go. One more time from the top. After two. One and two. 
Old Falcon, Old Falcon was a pretty bird. One bird as she flew, she danced around and crossed around wherever the warm winds blew. And the falcon, and the falcon was a pretty bird. Her voice was always still, but men with drums and men with guns, they taught her how to kill. Her eye was hers on the sparrow, her mind was on the dove, but no singing with me on Sunday. I always look forward to these sessions so it's really nice to be here. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in and singing along and lots of you I know have tuned in every week so that's really really kind. Um, yeah, and uh, it's just been good fun. I've enjoyed doing this song and it's been a while since I've sung it so really nice to revisit it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed revisiting it if, the, if it is a revisit or learning for the first time. Um, if you've enjoyed tonight's session uh, there's a link in the description box under the video to something called Buy Me A Coffee where you can support this project um, and a big thanks to everybody who has supported week on week. It's really, really generous of you. Um, I think that's it for this week. But yeah, uh, lots more info to follow about the various summer projects. Um, yeah, and it should be a fun few weeks ahead. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good week. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Uh, keep singing and see you all next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Da 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 da